The successful wholesalers are the ones that provide a value, um, that provide excellent customer service, who understand um, what their retailers need and provide it in a timely fashion uh, at a fair value. They need to tell the retailer what new products, what new programs, what new opportunities are there that are available and they need to feed that information back to the growers as to what, what works, what works at retail. And not everything works the same in different parts of the country or whatever. A number of research projects that have benefited the industry, whether it's cool chain management, ethylene management, they've really done a lot to prolong the shelf life and the vase life of our product. As a result, the end consumer can see more value and help us create more demand for our product. One thing our industry hasn't been successful in is attracting Gen Y employees to come into our industry. That has been problematic. The AFE scholarship program can help attract Gen Y employees into our industry and help it keep it viable moving into the future. The new business internship is near and dear to my heart. My father um, donated some dollars and we chose to put those towards um, a business internship, one that's centered more around the technology, the graphic design, the accounting, those types of functions that are critical to the success of our industry. We have a social media guide that the endowment has just funded and that is another great opportunity for wholesalers to bring information that'll keep a lot of retailers in business. I mean, how to reach that consumer today is very different than the yellow pages of, of years gone by. A retailer has a lot of choices to buy flowers, and so being able to provide information and direction and guidance and, and, um, and things of that nature makes us more valuable to the retailer. with other online service providers outside of the floral industry, namely Amazon. I think that they've raised the bar with customer expectation as far as uh, delivery times and turnaround from order to receiving of that product. And that, that is an expectation that is filtered into the floral industry. DV Flora donates to American Floral Endowment because we see the positive impact from their research and I encourage you to do the same. You know, if they're not doing the work, who will? If they're not investing in our industry, who will? 